On January 13, 2012, at 7:18 p.m., world largest Italian cruise ship set sail for its seven days Europe tour. The ship was named the Costa Concordia. Not only does the Costa Concordia boast unparalleled elegance and extra weddings, but it is also hold the distinction of being the largest cruise ship in the world. Able to accommodate an additional 2,000 passengers compared to the Titanic, on board were 1,023 crew members and 3,206 passengers. If we talk about entertainment here, the entertainment offerings aboard the Costa Concordia redefine the cruising experience, ensuring that every passenger finds excitement and delight around every corner. There is something for every taste and mood. Water slides, zip lines, luxurious spa, or enjoy a leisurely swim in one of the multiple pools. Vibrant parties, themed nights, and immersive experiences that keep the excitement going well into the night. The Costa Concordia ensures that each moment at sea is filled with unforgettable memories and boundless enjoyment. Welcome to Historify. Join us on this unforgettable journey of Costa Concordia. It was a fastful evening as the Costa Concordia departed Cevitavicchia, Italy on January 13, 2012, setting course for its first destination. Our letter as the clock approached 9.40 p.m., the majestic vessel approached Giglio Island, where it veered off its standard course of maritime salute. This routine practice, performed several times before, took an unexpected turn as the ship moved too close to the island, rocky shores, resulting in a collision that would alter the course of history, despite Captain Chetino's swift attempt to change course. A miscommunication with the Indonesian handsman led to a 13-second delay in correcting the maneuver, culminating in a chilling collision with the reef. As the ship's stern collided with the submerged obstacle, passengers, some enjoying dinner while others retired to their cabin, were jolted by impact. Initially attributed to an electrical failure, the true gravity of the situation soon became evident. At 9.40 p.m., the Concordia port side suffered a devastating 174-foot tear, flooding five compartments, including the critical engine room. Panic ensued as the ship began to tilt, conjuring eerie parallels to Titanic disaster. Amidst the chaos, conflicting orders and confusion plagued the bridge, further exacerbating the unfolding crisis. As the night wore on, the Concordia plight attracted the attention of Italian Coast Guard, who made contact with the distressed vessel at about 10.14 p.m. However, Captain Chetino's initial report downplayed the severity of the situation, citing only blackout. It wasn't until 10.39 p.m that the first rescue vessel arrived, with Chiatino finally ordering the abandonment of the ship, though some lifeboat had already been launched. By 11.20 p.m., as the Concordia list worsened and the situation grew increasingly dire, Chiatino left the bridge, later claiming to have fallen into a lifeboat. By midnight on January 14, as the Concordia fought, Hung in the balance, the valiant effort of rescue crews and the resilience of passengers would be put to the ultimate test, marking a tragic chapter in maritime history. The clock ticked past midnight amidst the chaos and confusion aboard the stricken Costa Concordia. A ray of hope emerged. At precisely 12.40 am, a courageous coast guard captain reached out to Captain Chetino, who found himself huddled in a lifeboat with other Concordian officers. With authority and determination, the Coast Guard commander ordered Chetino to return to the vessel and oversee the evacuation efforts. But to the shock and dismay of all, Chetino refused, choosing instead to abandon his post in a moment of dire need. Yet even in the face of this betrayal of duty, the spirit of rescue burned bright. By this time, a vast armada of rescue vessel had converged on the scene with 25 patrol boats, 14 merchant vessels 
and countless helicopter joining forces in desperate bid to save lives. As a first light of dawn painted the sky in hues of pink and gold, in the days that followed amidst the wreckage and despair, stories of resilience and survival emerged. On January 14th, as the sun rose once more over the troubled water, they were plunged into the depth of the Concordia's hull. Their brave efforts yielding miraculous results. Three more survivors were pulled from the darkness within. Their tales of endurance, a testament to the strength of the human spirit. Thirty-two lives were lost in the disaster, their memories forever etched into the fabric of history. As the search of closure continued, the grim task of recovery persisted. It was not until November 2014 that the last body was recovered from the depths, bringing solemn conclusion to a tragedy that had shaken the world to its core. Aftermath of Costa Concordia disaster, the legal saga unfolded with a complexity befitting a courtroom drama. Caution swirled around Captain Chetino and his crew members, their actions scrutinized under the harsh light of justice. In a courtroom scene, reminiscent of a gripping thriller, four crew members in Costa Concordia crisis coordinator first charges of manslaughter. Their guilt sealed with sentences of less than three years. Meanwhile, Shetino himself stood at the center of storm of accusation, facing charges ranging from manslaughtering to abandoning ship. As the trial unfolded over grueling 19 months, prosecutor painted Shetino as an idiot, while the captain adamantly defended his action as a life-saving what he deemed as scapegoating. Despite Chetino's attempts to shift blame, the verdict ultimately fell against him in February 2015, sentencing him to over 16 years behind bars. Despite appeal, the verdict stood and Chetino commenced his sentence in May 2017, a chapter of the tragic tale drawn to a close within the Hollywood halls of justice.